On the 20th of January 1990, Soviet troops entered Azerbaijan with hundreds killed, injured or detained. It is now referred to as Black January and the date is commemorated by Azerbaijanis around the world. 2015 is the 25th anniversary of the invasion and to mark the date, Efe had an opportunity to speak with Azerbaijani ambassador to Spain, Altai Efendeyev, who explained how the incident unfolded. Heavily armed uh, Soviet troops entered uh, Baku and other suburbs, suburbs of uh, Baku and other small cities and towns in Azerbaijan through land and uh, sea and uh, swiping uh, everything on their way, uh, firing in disarray, uh, killing uh, civilians and uh, uh, acting uh, brutally, uh, mercilessly uh, and as, as a result of this uh, illegal and constitutional act of aggression, uh, about 150 uh, civilians were mercilessly uh, killed, uh, uh, more than 700 uh, people were injured, uh, up to 900 were imprisoned and uh, many people were still uh, keep, uh, missing. Efendeyev describes the reason the Soviets used to enter the country and what he believes to be their real justification. Uh, the pretext of uh, this aggression was uh, to restore uh, the order in the capital and uh, other parts of the country. But uh, the true uh, reason and true objective was uh, to break uh, the spirit of national unity, uh, strive for independence uh, against the illegal and constitutional acts of uh, uh, territorial claims and uh, ethnic cleansing that uh, uh, Azerbaijani people experienced uh, in Armenia and uh, in the region of Nagorno-Karabakh of the Azerbaijan. The ambassador says the Soviets had further objectives. To uh, uh, continue uh, with the uh, uh, imperialistic policies of uh, annexation of uh, the Azerbaijani lands uh, and expansion, uh, the influence uh, of uh, the Soviet Empire in this strategic, uh, strategically important uh, region. Efendeyev talked about the lead up to the military operation. Uh, mid of 780s. Uh, with, uh, when Gorbachev era started uh, in, in the Soviet Union. The, the Moscow uh, inspired and instigated uh, an uh, ethnic cleansing and uh, separatist uh, move, uh, moods uh, in, in Azerbaijan with dozens of thousands of uh, Azerbaijanis which been expelled from their native lands in Armenia and uh, Nagorno-Karabakh, and uh, they've been uh, moved to Baku and uh, surrounding suburbs. But the Soviets did not stop there, as the head of the Azerbaijani diplomatic mission to Madrid explains how further actions were carried out. This event uh, was a precursor of uh, a chain of uh, a very tragic events which happened and in the following years of modern history, in the modern history of Azerbaijan. As you might know, uh, as, uh, in 91, uh, after the breakup of the Soviet Union, uh, Azerbaijan uh, encountered with uh, imposed war, uh, which was uh, ended with uh, occupation of the 20% uh, of its uh, territory with hundreds of uh, thousands of uh, refugees and displaced and dozens of uh, thousands of, of killed people. So we entered into a very tragic period of uh, our uh, uh, history which put uh, the existence uh, of the uh, country as a whole on the, uh, under, under the question.
FNDF says the incident should be considered a crime against humanity and those responsible should be tried at the International Criminal Court. On the shores of the Caspian Sea, Azerbaijanis remember those who lost their lives at a monument that has extra meaning in 2015, the 25th anniversary of Black January. <laughs>